Hi, this is James Stafford with Websites Made Easy. In this free video series, I'm going to do something that's long overdue for business owners and entrepreneurs. I'm going to show you without the common fluff and hype how to properly build a complete website step by step to truly tap into the internet in a way that drives more traffic and new customers with nothing but free tools. That's right, with nothing but free tools, you can get news with a quick search on Google. You don't need any special skills, you don't need to be an internet marketer, and you don't even need to have a website right now. It's the proper use of these techniques and little tools that will push you to the top of the search engines and keep you there, ultimately driving more traffic, customers, and generating cash flow. So why should you listen to me? Well, for time purposes, as we have a ton of info to cover, I'll give you three quick reasons. I've taught thousands of business owners and entrepreneurs these very strategies and tactics through my membership site, WebsitesMadeEasy.tv. My book, Prospecting Perfection, was written with the entrepreneur and business owner in mind. It illustrates my work in the trenches with business owners daily on their internet marketing strategies. In just five years, I've built and grown a successful business online with these very tactics. This is what I do. I coach and guide business owners and entrepreneurs and use the internet to get them new business every day, all day, full time. This ultimately allows our clients to stay ahead of everyone else on the cusp of new marketing stuff online. Strategies that actually work and produce new business and generate cash flow for our clients. Fact is, once you understand some simple foundational principles, you can easily do this. You don't need a special website, you don't need crazy technical skills, and you don't need to be internet savvy. While most business owners and entrepreneurs are either intimidated by the web, unsure of what to do online, or just overwhelmed by all the options. After this video series, you will easily be able to build a website that drives more traffic and customers while cleaning up in the process. With well over 1 million searches online for businesses each month, there's never been a better time to stake your claim on the stream of free traffic and additional cash flow waiting for you online than right now. So let's start by discussing your business website and what it takes to get top rankings and tons of exposure on Google. Listen, there's nothing magical about getting to the first page of Google. Just as a side note, Google indexes and ranks web pages, not websites. Now there are two categories of things Google wants to see from you, and if you give it to them, you'll get your rankings and exposure. On-page factors, how your web pages are coded, what information you're giving Google about each web page, the relevance of the content on those pages, how fresh or new the content is on those pages, how engaging is your content, social factors. Don't worry about all the technical jargon. In a sec, I'm going to show you three free tools you can use to take care of all this for you and give Google exactly what it wants to give you top rankings. Category two is off-page factors, social engagement, quantity and quality of links on other websites pointing back to your website and web pages. Now we'll talk about the second category and how to get quality links on autopilot in a later video. For now, let me show you how simple it is to take care of the first category, the on-page factors for Google so it views your website and pages worthy of first page rankings. More than anything, what Google and the other search engines love is a WordPress website. A WordPress website is really nothing more than a type of CMS or content management system that makes publishing content on the web brain dead simple. The reason why Google loves WordPress is WordPress is super customizable for SEO, our search engine optimization, social engagement, and ultimately Google friendly. They are composed of simpler code than traditional websites, making it easier for Google to view the website. And Google loves WordPress websites because of fresh content. So with your business website properly created from WordPress, Google will rank your website and pages faster and higher. Now the best type of website application to get and use so you can get top rankings in Google is, you guessed it, WordPress. The reason it's the best is because of these plugins, these little add-ons that you can use with WordPress that makes it super attractive to the search engines. Like a magnet for top rankings, we'll talk more about this later. Best part of all, WordPress software is free. And because most websites come with something called cPanel with Fantastico Deluxe and Quick Install, WordPress can be installed on an existing website or brand new website within 20 seconds, less than three clicks of a mouse. Simply ask the company that's hosting your website if you have cPanel. If you do, you'll be able to log into cPanel, click on Fantastico, or quick install, click WordPress installation, and everything else will be done for you. If cPanel did not come with your website, WordPress can be downloaded at wordpress.org or wordpress.com and can be installed in just a minute. Now I'll tell you how to do this a little bit later. 
This way you can save money and don't need to buy a business website or template. WordPress will work just fine as a standalone business website for you. So for now, let's head over to WordPress.com and I will show you just how easy it is to get started building a WordPress website for free. As soon as you have your WordPress website installed, you've taken the first critical steps at building an effective web presence and getting your top Google rankings. So congratulations. Hi right, guys, this is James Stafford. I'm over here at WordPress.com where we can build our free website. And real quickly, there's two ways of doing this. There's the free way with WordPress.com and there is a self-hosted way, which is where you're going to ultimately buy a domain name, which is $10 to $15 per year, and hosting, which is anywhere probably under $10 per month. So I'm going to show you how to do it real quickly with WordPress.com, the free way. And what we're going to do is create your WordPress.com blog. Now we'll click this orange button here in the middle. And this is uh, very, very easy to do. So what you're going to do is put in a good email address. Username. Password. and the blog address. So this is what our website name is going to be. So I'm going to I'm working with a um, local landscaping firm here. So we'll go with C R E N E. And then we'll wait for our welcome email. I'm going to pause the video so we don't have to wait for 30 minutes. Usually it doesn't take that long. But uh, I'll be right back. Okay, that only took about a minute. And here is uh, activate our blog. And this is what I like about the free way of doing it. And let's see. And their interface is real easy to work with as well. So here's our blog title, and this is what the um, the name of the website is going to be, Serenascape Landscapers. So I'll separate that out. And then you can put in a tagline. It's optional. I, I'm, I'm just going to leave that out. And English, and then we'll go to the next step. And choose a theme. I was hoping to get a, a business theme here, and this is one of the um, kind of the, the drawbacks of using WordPress.com. Um, the free version is that you're limited to the amount of themes that you can use to build your website and as far as I'm concerned that's really what WordPress is all about I mean you get thousands and thousands with the self-hosted version way of doing this of themes custom custom themes that you can upload really create a look and feel of your website that's that fits your specific um, business or whatever you're trying to accomplish with your website and you can't do that ultimately with WordPress.com. You're limited in terms of what they have available. So, just in the interest of time here, I think that's about it. I just think they have show more themes. Really, not too many to. Yeah, that's it. So I'll just pick a. Let's see here. I'll just pick this one. Okay, and it kind of tells you this is kind of what the site would look like. Customize it once you add. Here we go. We'll go to next step. And then we can add some text for our home page. And I have a quick article I'm going to go ahead and put in here. Okay, here's our article.
can insert a photo as well. So if we want to move this over, we can click on the image and then we can make it smaller or bigger, move it over to the right. I'm going to say let's go down in size, let's go down to about 70%, or well, let's do 80% is fine. And then move it over to the right. And then we'll do update and then publish post. We click on my blogs. We go Serenascape Landscapers. And this is with this theme, obviously. So you can change the theme. And if we want to go inside our dashboard to make some more edits, we just click on Dashboard. So the, uh, the WordPress dashboard is where you're going to make all your edits to your site. If you want to add pages, posts, um, music, videos, um, change a theme or add plugins, this is where you're going to do this. Okay, And I'm going to show you how to do all of that step by step with a self-hosted WordPress website here in just a moment. So just real quickly, the, the benefits I would say of using WordPress.com is, is, is that it's free and it's pretty quick to set up. The drawbacks or the cons are you, you can't add custom themes, you can't upload plugins, you can't modify the code, or there's really no customization that's allowed. Um, you can't monetize the website. You can't add Google Analytics, which is tracking, which is very important. Um, with the self-hosted version of WordPress, you can add any theme that you want. Thousands of themes are available. You can add that you know thousands of plugins to your website you can change the code of the website you can monetize your website you can add Google Analytics there's just so much value in the self-hosted version where you're gonna buy your domain name and hosting which is very cheap for the overall value you get ultimately so that's the way I do it I'm gonna show you how to do that right now and we'll head over to hostgator.com and I will pause the video and I'll see you over in a minute over at uh, hostgator Alright guys, here is the self-hosted website that I'm going to be properly building out. I'm going to show you how to optimize it for visitors and the search engine so it's in the best position to drive targeted traffic and customers, ultimately providing for better visibility and exposure online. I'm going to show you how to add pages, plugins, change themes, how to add a map like this, how to add YouTube videos, uh, a lot of good stuff, how to make your site mobile friendly. And that's what it would look like on a iPhone or iPad or pretty cool stuff. So there's a lot of good content coming uh, coming your way here soon. So uh, we're going to jump into that right now. But this is the uh, the website fully, just about fully done. So and this is great for uh, uh, local businesses or you know anybody that's trying to stimulate leads online. So let's get straight into it and head over to HostGator.com and start uh, building out our self-hosted website. Alright, so what we want to do is click on View Web Hosting Plans here in the middle of the page. We want to select the baby plan here in the middle. These two are basically the same except you get unlimited domains with this one if you ever want to add on an additional domain in the future. It's basically the same price monthly anyway. Save a few cents. Um, and we want to select the monthly package here. Uh, this is going to save you the most money on the front end, otherwise you're going to be locked in to a little bit more um, upfront cost. Okay, so order now. And we want to register a, do, new, a new domain name. Hopefully you've thought this through. If not, it's okay. Um, select what you, let's see. That one's not available, so you want to drill down until you find what's available. There you go, serenascape.net. This is actually a landscape design uh, firm that I'm working with here that I'm designing this site for. Okay, so I've selected the .net. Uh, this is the baby package, the monthly price. It already comes with the 20% 20 per, 20 off. Okay, you want to select a username. Just, just TFV. So just uh, enter that information in. We want to enter our billing information in here. 
and you can pay with credit card or PayPal. I choose PayPal. And I'll put this information, I'm going to pause the video here in a sec and uh, put that information in. But also right here, you want to look at our price down here right now. It's at 6084. We're going to get that down substantially. Okay, we don't need any of this stuff. Okay, these are just add-on features that just end up costing you extra. So just unselect all of these under hosting add-ons. Okay, and we're going to put in a coupon code, code here. Save now with one penny, P-E-N-N-Y. Validate. There you go. We got it down to twelve ninety six. That's how much you're going to pay for, and that's just your domain, your new domain that you're paying for. Okay. So I'm going to pause the video real quick. I'm going to put in my information, and then we're going to create an account and wait for a welcome email and set up our website. Pretty easy, guys. All right, I will see you back here in a moment. All right, guys, I'm back. Once you submit your order, you should end up at this page right here. It's a thank you page, and it basically tells you that you're going to get a welcome email at the email address that you submitted. So we're waiting on that. It can it that usually comes immediately or it can take anywhere from, you know, up to 15 20 minutes or so. So just wait wait on that and then once we get that, we'll start setting up our website. So uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back here in a moment. All right guys, I'm back. This is James Stafford. I'm inside my Gmail account here and I received the uh, the welcome email from Hostgator it says thank you for your order with hostgator.com. And we want to take note of a couple of things here. There is our username that we selected previously and the password. What I do is just copy this password. And then we want to, where it says your control panel, we want to click this link. I just open this in a new tab. And this is how we set up our, uh, our WordPress website here. So you put in your username and just uh, input your password there and then log in. All right, we're now inside the C panel. Don't let this overwhelm you, all these icons. It's very straightforward what we're going to be doing. I think over the years here I've accessed one other tool and um, not a big deal. So we're looking, if we go down to software and services, down here towards the bottom, we're looking for quick install. It looks like this little stopwatch looking icon. You're going to click that. And then over here to the left, this left hand column, we're looking for WordPress under blog software. So click this, WordPress. Then you want to click continue to uh, proceed with the uh, installation and just put in this uh, these basic details here the admin email put in a good email address where you can receive any information okay the blog title or the website title whatever you want to name your website the admin user is going to be your your name or whoever's going to be running the site and then that's it. And then we're going to do install now. And as you can see, it's installing WordPress. All right. And it's given us um, our admin details here, our credentials. Okay. So this is how we're going to log in to the WordPress dashboard. You're going to copy your password and your username is what you selected. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is click this link, um, the Serenascape forward slash WP admin. And this is how we're going to log into our WordPress dashboard or our site, okay? So we're going to open this link in a new tab. And what do you know? It says there's a problem. Uh, Serenascape.net can't be found on Firefox. I'm glad this has happened. This is normal, completely normal. What's happening is, is your new domain is propagating. This can take a couple hours uh, to address, and um, basically it's just for your, your new website to be available live online. So don't let this alarm you, it's uh, completely normal. So once once this is done propagating, I will um, uh, resume the video. All right, thanks. James Stafford here, I'm back. You should have received an email with your login details and how to log into your WordPress site. So it's gonna be your website name forward slash WP admin. And this is gonna take us to our WordPress dashboard. So I'm gonna click this link. And I'm already actually logged in, so what you'll do is it'll look like this, and you're putting your username and your password, and then you're going to end up here inside your WordPress dashboard. This is where you're going to make any adjustments to your WordPress site. And actually, this is what our WordPress site looks like as of right now. So we are live online. This is what it looks like out of the box. Okay, and we're going to clean all this up to where it looks like a business website when I'm done with it. All right.
right, so let's jump back into the dashboard. And I'm going to step you through how to build an effective web presence with your WordPress website in terms of an optimized website for search in, the search engines, users, um, really to get the most out of the website to where you can build an audience, engage with your audience. So it's not just a placeholder online. Ultimately, we want to drive traffic to our website to where people can come and view high-quality content, things like that. You get the idea. So what we're going to do first is really clean up this dashboard, get rid of some unnecessary things that come with WordPress that you just don't need. So let's get straight into it. The first thing that we want to do is uh, let's go over to um, Posts all posts and we're just gonna select this throw this in the trash okay now we'll go to pages all pages sample page we can get rid of that trash it alright I'm gonna go back over to post I wanna set our default category in this case it's gonna be let's see edit landscape design This way, our, our site, the, fu uh, the user functionality, everything is organized, and this is going to be organized for the search engines as well. So when Google or you know Yahoo Bing comes by here, they see that the content is aligned with what this WordPress site is about. Okay, so we ultimately we want to have a nice clean layout in terms of the content and how the content is is organized, and we structure it through the categories. All right, here comes uh, the cool part. We're actually going to go over to and install and change the entire feel and look of the site. So we're going to go over to uh, Appearance Themes. And since this is a business, we want to go to Install Themes. I'm looking for a specific theme that would lend itself to, uh, to that. So if we just type in, let's type in Business. And we're searching for, um, in the WordPress database, uh, business themes okay and you can see there's quite a few here to pick from so local business this looks good right here so we'll install this and just look how easy this is install now and this is really as far as I'm concerned where WordPress shines and is just unbelievable We've now activated the theme, and look what's happened. Open link a new tab. You have a completely different looking website. Very powerful. In seconds, so pretty cool stuff. Also, guys, I'm going to show you um, some really cool tricks and, and hacks that I've learned over the years with WordPress. So a lot of high value here stay along for the ride it's gonna be long but it's gonna be worth it okay now that we got our theme squared away let's go over here to plugins this is another cool really cool feature about uh, WordPress let's go to um, installed plugins and we're gonna clean some of this stuff up this WP super cache plugin is fantastic it caches all your content so your site is ultimately sped up it's not loading the content every time someone accesses a page or post or picture, video, etc. It's awesome. So what we're going to do here is add a couple of plugins right here. Add new. Uh, let's search for Google Analytics. We'll install this. Activate the plugin. Okay, let's go with another one. Add new. You're going to need a Google Analytics account for that as well, and that's actually um, on my uh, on my membership site over here. I'll show you here in a second. Let's see, I step you through every single aspect of WordPress everything you need to know about your WordPress site, internet marketing that's related to your WordPress site. So there's tons of information here on how to do that. 
So if you'd like to learn how to do that, go over to websitesmadeeasy.tv and uh, just enter your email and you will have access to the site. So a lot, of, a lot of good stuff there. Anyway, let's go back over to the task at hand. Let's see. So Google XML sitemaps. We're going to install this. What this, this plugin does, it, it makes your uh, website, it indexes, helps index all your content so that when the search engines come by, they, it can recognize where your content is, all the pages, posts, everything, so it's nice and organized for the search engines. Okay, so we're going to install that. As far as I'm concerned, it's imperative to have this if you want to have a search engine friendly website. Okay, so we have the Google Analytics, Google XML sitemaps, and let's do all-in-one SEO pack install now. So this is all, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. This one's going to just optimize your website for the search engines. Okay. And we're now inside the all-in-one SEO plugin options um, area. So what we want to do here, you want to play, pay close attention here. If you want to get your website optimized correctly for the search engines, this is extremely important. Okay, so, and I'm going to show you a, a couple of examples of, that illustrate what I'm doing. Okay, so let's, the home title is what is known as your title tags. Okay, and what that looks like is this. We're going to type in, let's say, Newport Beach Landscapers. If you look right here, Newport, uh, Newport Beach Landscaping Company, this right here, Newport Beach Landscaping Company True Landscape, this is the title tag. This right here underneath the URL, which is the domain name, this underneath here, it says Newport Beach Landscaping Company and Contractor True Landscape, this is the meta description. Okay, this, um, these description areas, that's what's known as the, the meta description. Okay, so we're going to uh, put input all this information in here to get our website ready for the search engine so it's recognized for what it is okay let's see so we're gonna just type in Serenascape and you can um, I would actually to put a phone number in here if you're a local business put the phone number in here so we'll just put now I can't remember the phone number off the top of my head but Okay, you get the idea. Home description. Um, just pull this from here. Just in the interest of time, I'll go back and do this later. Home description. And then you can put in some keywords here. So, landscaper. Okay, oh, whoops, I didn't enable. We got to enable the plugin. So, up top here, make sure you click enabled. We're going to update that. And now the site is ready for the search engines. Okay. So if we go back to, see where it says Serene Escape up top here in the Firefo Firefox above the browser, above these tabs? If I refresh this page, watch what it says. There you go. Serene Escape, Newport Beach, California, Orange County Landscape Design with the phone number. That's ideally what you want to get your website ready for the search engine so Google knows what your website is about. Okay? All right, so we've already installed the all in one SEO pack, which ultimately optimizes your entire website for the search engines. Now we're going to install a plugin called SEO Friendly Images. Now, what this plugin does is it optimizes your images for the search engines. So it'll, it'll enable your images to have names, something like landscape design in Newport Beach. So if someone were to look on Google Images for landscape design in Newport Beach and they wanted some examples of that and they clicked on an image and they they would ultimately end up back on your website from that image they found. So it's a great way to optimize all of your images on your site for specific keywords that are related to your content. So let's go ahead and install that now. So what we'll do is type in SEO friendly images, search plugins, and we'll just install this now. Activate plugin. 
and then we'll go down to settings SEO friendly images okay so basically what this means in here is that any any page or post that you have titled so say your your post is let's just go over to uh, let's see pages all pages open link and new tab and we have a couple pages here fountains orange county so what it's gonna do is take this title right here and then add that title to the image so now your image and content is optimized for the search engines so you've got all that covered so ultimately what this is telling Google is is this specific page is recognized for fountains orange county so this would be a viable place to send traffic for anybody typing in that specific phrase into Google. So the more of that, so you say you have a couple of images on there that are titled Fountains Orange County, you have some content in there that's suggesting that that is what this web page is about, and so you had a video in there that was titled that. That's three different pieces of content that suggest specifically what this page is about. So to, by doing this, you're telling Google this is a great place to find this content and to send traffic here. All right, now I'm going to show you how to install and set up the Google Plus Authorship Relative plugin. Now what this plugin ultimately is going to do is it's going to add a, the Google Relative tag to your website, which going forward into 2013 and beyond is going to be very important for identity and social reputation. It also adds a picture uh, to the search results so uh, you've seen that sometimes when you're looking and you're, you're looking for something on Google and you can find and you see people with or excuse me you see images uh, next to um, the website there that's what it's going to do too so along with your search engine optimization this is going to be pretty important to have on your website so basically it's going to establish you as an author and it's going to create an identity for you and your website online so it's um it's going to be pretty powerful going forward. So I highly recommend adding this plugin to your WordPress uh, WordPress arsenal. So what we'll do here is go to plugins, add new. Upload. And Open that. Install now. Activate the plugin. And you can find this uh, plugin on my um, my website, websitesmadeeasy.tv. And you should just be able to, to install that there. Okay, so just go over there when you have some time and um, you can get that plugin there. All right. So what we'll do now is go to uh, we'll set this up so we go to settings Google plus author we're gonna tick off this box right here save settings and now we want to go to users your profile and this is uh, added a Google plus URL right here and we want to get that now to get this if you have a gmail account if you're not familiar with what google plus is just type in google plus into google and you'll find it there and it's tied to your email address basically and you can set it up but mine's already set up and we're looking for just go under um, profile and if you go back up to the url up here that that's your uh, special uh, your google plus url and just copy everything before the forward slash posts. Okay? It's that easy to do. And just go back in and, and just plunk in that uh, Google Plus URL. And then update profile. And that's it. And you should be good to go. So now um, your content will be recognized by you as the author and uh, you'll have a picture in the search results so it's uh, pretty powerful so I highly recommend adding this to your website alright so we've installed some search engine plugins 
to help people find us ultimately online and the search engines to be able to recognize what our website is about. Now it's time to engage with prospects, okay, our friends of prospects. So how we're going to do that is with a social plugin called WP Socializer. So what this plugin is going to enable us to do is create an environment on our website to share our content. So for say for example, you know, somebody comes to your site and they really like, you know, the images or they like the videos or the content that's on the site, they can share it through social bookmarking icons or share buttons like Facebook, Twitter and ultimately that post or picture or whatever is going to go to uh, Facebook and their friends of friends will see that and you get it from there. I mean it's a great way to really connect and engage with prospect and prospects and current customers or clients. So this can't be overlooked. So what we'll do is install this and what we'll do is go back to, we can either download it here, save file, and then just upload it straight into we just want to upload the zip file so we'll go to um, back over to the plugins page add new and you could search for it as well here you could just do a search in here but we'll just upload it since we've already downloaded it from their website so browse and it should be right there and then open that and then install now and if you have uh, any questions on how to get this thing set up or you know further drill down to the specifics of customizing it for your website, they have some great information on their website on how to do that. But I'm going to just set it up pretty quickly here. So we go to settings. And actually there's a video right here on how to do it. But if we go down to start using WP Socializer. Yeah, let's see what this looks like. All right, another very important thing that we need to do is update our ping list. Now, what a ping list does is it tells your website to automatically update key websites such as Google, Yahoo, and Bing that you've published new content on your website. So it's a great way to get new content indexed fast ultimately improving your search results. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So just uh, what you would do is type in Pinglist 2013 and I've already done this search. You go WordPress Pinglist 2013 and you just copy this. Okay? And you want to copy that. And then we're going to go back here and then I'm going to go to, it's under um, I believe users or settings, excuse me, and then it's under writing. And then right here it says update services. When you publish new post, WordPress automatically notifies the following sites. Okay, so we'll just copy and paste that in there, and then save changes. So anytime that you you uh, you publish new content on your website, all these sites will be notified a great way to improve your search results and get new content indexed. Okay, now we're going to uh, head over to settings and we're going to go to general. And here's our site title, Serenescape. And we want to get rid of this, uh, just another WordPress site and we'll put that in Newport Beach Landscaping Company and Contractor. You can leave that blank, but uh, or you can put something, I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Uh, you can update your email address here and uh, you can update your, your your date format time okay now we're gonna head over to permalinks this is extremely important okay and this is how our right now our pages look something like this so when someone's you know look, looks at say a specific page of our site we don't have any right now but um, it's gonna show the year month day and post name that's we don't need all that we just want it to have the post name and what that post or page is about, okay, specifically. So say it was, um, so we had a page about um, landscape design in Newport Beach, and that was the, the name of the page. It would say something like serenascape.net forward slash 
landscape design Newport Beach. This way it's recognized by not only users but by the search engines what that specific page is about. So it's indexed accordingly. Okay, so we're going to change this to custom st structure or actually we'll just change this to post name. That's it. And we want to save changes. So make sure you do this. All right, now what we're going to do is head over to um, the theme options here uh, for this specific local business theme. And we're going to customize this to make the most effective web presence for Serenascape to ultimately stimulate leads. Because that's, that's what they want. I mean, they want more business. So let's just uh, get straight into it here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and upload a custom logo here. Let's see here. It's Tom. Okay, we're going to upload an image here. Okay, let me save the changes. And now we have our logo and our homepage image. Let's take a look. Nice. All right, it's time to start really building out this site. I have all my content ready to go and organized, and I recommend that you do the same thing. This way you can get it all done in one shot, you know where everything is, and you're good to go. So I'm going to start that process now. It's very, very straightforward with this theme. This theme is super easy to work with. As you can see here, it's just a matter of connecting the dots. You basically get your necessary content and put it in each uh, section here. Uh, each corresponding section. So you have your home page features. This would, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. And if you make any mistakes, you can go back and, and make those edits. So what I'm going to do, so you guys don't have to see me do all this, is go ahead and, and fill all this content in, and uh, you will see what it looks like here in a moment. So I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, guys, I've got a lot of the content in here for all the featured areas as you can see right here very straightforward this theme is super easy to work with I highly recommend it let's see and take a look right here and this is what uh, it looks like so having said that I'm gonna show you um, how to how to add a YouTube video right here which is really cool and I'm gonna update this phone number and we're gonna go down to the widget area add the necessary contact information and update this this map right here so it reflects the correct address let's head over to YouTube videos the way things are going these days ideally you would like to have that for your website it's just really engaging it's um, a great way to connect with prospects so let's do uh, landscape design Newport Beach, and they should be up here up top. There we go. I'm going to show you how to take the code here. So what we want to do is go down to share. We want to take this embed code right here and just copy this code. Very, very easy to do. And we'll go back to the site and just plunk this code in right here. And that's it. Save all changes. It recommends some sizes, but I believe that makes the adjustment for you. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. If it looks crazy. I can go ahead and adjust it, but it should be okay. There it is. So now they have their YouTube video on here. Pretty cool. Serenescape. You get the idea. Okay, you now know how to add a YouTube video to your website, but you may be wondering, well, how do I add my video to YouTube? So that uh, brings us to, um, again, my website's uh, madeeasy.tv membership site. And if you go into um, Internet Marketing Toolbox here, you can find down here towards the middle how to register a YouTube account and upload a video. So there's all, all sorts of really good tips and information that you can find here that's going to help. It's really going to translate into building out your site. Check out this. Uh, I really encourage you to check out this uh, site when you have some time. It's websitesmadeeasy.tv. 
All right, uh, let's see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make these other changes to the phone number and we'll jump into the widget area next. Okay, as you can see, I've updated the phone number and just did that by just adding this information right here. And you can add Google Analytics right here, which is really cool, which is gonna track everything and anything about your site, like where the visitors are coming from, all that good stuff. And I really recommend doing that for your business. Highly recommend doing it. We're gonna add the Google Maps widget, which we don't have. If we go back to Appearance, Widgets, there's not one here. So we're gonna do a search in Google for that. I'm gonna show you, how, you guys how to do that. This is actually a pretty cool tip. If you ever are looking for anything for your WordPress website, any solution that you're looking for, what I typically do is just go straight to Google and like I will type in Google. In this case, it's just Google Maps WordPress widget or Google Maps WordPress plugin. And you are usually going to find what you're looking for. And here we go. WordPress Google Maps widget plugin or widget. So what we're going to do is download this, save file. So that's downloaded. We're going to go back over to plugins and add a new. Go to upload, browse. I'll just go to my downloads. Google Maps widget, open that. Install now. Activate plugin, and now we should have our widget. So if we go to appearance, widgets, Google Maps widget. There we go. So we want to put this in the third footer widget area. We might have to, okay, here we go. Here's where we put in our address. So I'll just go and take this address real, real quick from here. Let's put our address in there. Save changes. Close that. And let's see what this looks like now. Okay, and we can adjust that to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, let's make this a little bit smaller. It was kind of big. So 200 by, let me say 125. Let's see what that looks like. All right, now we have our map with the correct address and this widget area. Now check this out guys, this is actually really, really cool. This theme is mobile friendly. So what that means is, is that if you're looking on um, your, your, your mobile phone, your iPhone, your uh, Android phone, your iPad, there you go. You now have a streamlined version Tap to call for your uh, if you're on your phone. Pretty cool, huh? And there's the map. All right there for you. I mean, just put yourself in the sh in the shoes of a consumer for a minute, and just imagine this and and seeing this site and not having to worry about navigating all over a site to find a phone number or an address. And all you have to do is scroll down, and they have everything for you. Your map, your contact us, everything right there. All right, guys, we're going to get straight into building some pages here. So what we're going to do is go over to Pages, Add New. And I'm going to make an About Us page here. So just title it About Us. Well, what we want to do is tell the search engines or Google what this page is about. So right here this is our title tag so we're gonna name this page about us so when Google comes by they'll know that this is an about us page so if you were to see this page in the search results you would see that title up top that said about us and then you could put in uh, the description here okay and this will be that little description in there it's, the, it's what is known as the meta description and you can put some keywords in here if you'd like 
Um, and also, it's a good idea. Up here, you can put about us, and then you can put in um, the phone number. Okay. So seven two four one zero two four one. If I didn't get that right, I'll come back and edit it. But yeah, you get the idea. So when anyone, if, if someone were to see this in the search results, they would see this this page is the About Us page. Here's the phone number, and here's a brief description of what um, the business is about. So they really wouldn't have to click through if they they found this attractive enough to, to pick up the phone and call. All right, so we'll update this. Publish it, okay. And let's uh, view what this page looks like. So if we click on, click on this view page, open this link about us, and you see the it doesn't look real. It looks all mashed together. We, we're going to fix that. We're going to fix this too. We don't want this um, these this widget area over here. And I got to turn off comments. So there's several things I have to do to make this this page look a lot better. And we'll probably add a picture in here too. Okay, so I'm going to clean all this up, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so what we'll do is go back to the page. It says page attributes, default template. We want to change this to, let's try full width. Let's update the page. Let's take a look at it now. Nice. So now we have the calendar here, the contact us page, as well as the map. Okay, so that took care of all that. Now we're going to clean up this content a little bit. Let's go to, um, let's see, let's just separate it right here, Serena Escape. Let's see if that does it. Update page. See what that looks like. Okay, good. And let's add a little picture over to the right. How about that? Okay, so we're going to edit page, and then we'll add a picture. Now to do that, we're going to click on media, add media right here. Select files. Let's see, desktop, Serena Escape. Okay, the, the picture has been uploaded. And it's a good idea to, to change, you can change the title name here. And this is good for SEO purposes as well, which are known as alt tags for uh, pictures. So, you know, when you do a, a Google search for images, well, here you go. You can type in Newport Beach landscaper and this might be pulled up uh, in the search results for this image and then ultimately they'd be driven back to your website so it's a good idea to name these uh, appropriately and you can change the sizes here we can make this a, a small let's go with a medium and see what that looks like we'll insert into post and then let's move this over we can click on the click on the image click edit image and then let's see if we can move it to the right We'll do that and then update. There we go. Now let's see what this looks like. It might look kind of kind of crazy, but we'll see. Perfect. That's the About Us page. Now let's add, uh, let's see. So this one's Fountain Contract, Orange County. Okay. Break up this content a little bit. And where was it? Fountains. Orange County. And we did some keyword research and determined that Fountains Orange County was typed in several times, so we targeted it's probably over, you know, a hundred times or so. It's such a specific keyword phrase. So we went ahead and targeted this page just for anyone looking Target, excuse me, targeted this keyword for anyone looking for uh, you know, fountain contractors in Orange County. All right, so what we'll do is the same here. This is really important. Put this uh, fountains Orange County in the title tag. So this is what the page is recognized for. You can put the phone number in here again. So we'll just put in, I can't remember it off the top of my head. And then we'll put in a brief description. And you can you ideally you want to put in that keyword in there as well in the description area, okay? 
and we'll publish this page. And we oh, we want to make sure it's uh, full width. Up, publish page. And here, let me show you what the page looks like. So if we view page, open link in new tab. Okay, there we go. Fountains Orange County. But take a look up here above these tabs. See how I you see how it says Fountains Orange County in the the phone number and then Serena Escape. This is from the title tag that we updated. So now that this is Google and everybody knows this is exactly what this page is about. So there's no discrepancies, okay? It's very important. All right? So what we do next is and then also right here in the URL. You see how clean that is? serenascape.net fountain uh, forward slash forward uh, fountains orange county okay perfect so then we'll add another page and this one's going to be landscape lighting orange county and we'll just do the same exact thing here break up this content a little bit Landscape lining Orange County, landscape lining Orange County, okay. Full width page, title tag for the SEO pack, brief description, and then we can have the, you know, the phone number here. Publish that page, and let's name this page services. All right, guys, we've created all these pages, but now look what's happened here. Our, our menu, our main menu up here is just full of this. I mean, we keep adding pages, it's going to look, it's not going to be very attractive. We want to clean this up, so ultimately what we're going to do is have all of these specific services underneath this services tab. Okay? So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So basically with this theme, and, and, and themes are going to be different in terms of how you do this, but with this specific theme, what we'll do is we're on Fountains Orange County, this page right now. We want to go to make, see what it says, um, parent right here we want to change the parent to be the services page and we'll update that and look what what happens here that one's fountains orange county if i refresh the page it's gone and now it's underneath the services tab okay so we'll go to all pages and we'll do this for the other page as well uh, landscape lighting, we'll edit that page, and we'll have the parent become services. Update that, and now we just tightened up our website. It looks a lot more attractive. All our services are in one place. Boom. There you go. All right, guys, I have an update for you here. I went ahead and upgraded this local business theme to the pro version. I did this because there are a couple of features that were left out of the free version, that I feel are absolutely necessary if you're a local business and you're ultimately trying to stimulate leads. Okay, so what I'm going to do is walk you through each field here and explain to you what they are and what you need to include with them. Obviously, this one right up here is the logo. So just upload your logo image here, wherever that may be. The custom fave icon, if you guys are familiar, it's um, not a lot of people know what this is, but you will once I explain it to you. Up here, if you look in the, on this tab, you see this empty box. There's t one right you know, I'll click so you'll be able to, one right there, one right there. And it's a great way to brand. So if you have a, a tiny little icon that you can put up there, um, or a logo, a small picture, or something like that, that identifies what your business is, it's a great way to, when, when people, are, you know, have several tabs up here, they can identify what that is. So it's a, it's a cool feature to be able to, you know, have some additional branding. All right. Uh, let's see. The body background image, that's going to be... I just feel that this is too clean, so I'm gonna I, I'm gonna leave it this way. I like it being too clean. You can put any background there that you'd like. It's just gonna change this background. It's not gonna do anything inside the perimeter of uh, the website. So, and upload that. 
top right contact details, that's going to be this information over here, the uh, phone number. Your tracking code, this is your Google Analytics. So if you're familiar with that, um, you can put your, you know, your tracking code in there. That's going to be able to track your visitors, where they're coming from, how many visitors you have a day, what type of device they're coming, just all sorts of good stuff. So I, I highly recommend that. Okay, let's go to slider settings. This is really cool. Um, they with the uh, free theme, you, you you only get one option for this. Okay, with this uh, one 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 image, you get seven. So pretty self-explanatory here. You basically upload your image and provide a link uh, to that image if you want to link to a page or. Um, and I, I think I showed you that earlier. If not, I'll show you how to do that again. So basically, you can link these images to specific pages or you know wherever you'd like them to go once they click that image. All right. Uh, home page. So basically, say on your home page here, you had an image. Uh, this image right here linked to um, exterior home landscape lighting design at night or something like that. Okay, that would take them to that page if you had a link to that page in this image. All right, uh, let's see here. Home page feature area. Okay, first feature heading. This is right here. This travel safe with us. The next one, second feature. That's going to be the heading and the description. So that's going to be this heading right here, description. Third one, heading description. You go down. Left feature heading is going to be this right here, this big area. There's the heading in the description area. And then the YouTube right feature section. You're going to enter... Um, I showed you guys, you can put in a video here, and I showed you guys how to do that with YouTube earlier. Okay. Styling options. This is awesome. Okay, with the free theme, you only get the blue, what it comes with by default. But you can change this. Let's go to this. I have it selected at all of right now. Let's check out coffee. Save all changes. And the colors are just fantastic. They're really crisp. There you go. That looks pretty cool, actually. So, ultimately, you're just changing the, within clicks of a button the entire look of your site. It's pretty pretty cool. In seconds, uh, let's see what orange looks like. That'll probably look pretty wild. Let's see. Probably a bit too much. Yeah, a bit much. So, and then you got, um, let's see here, green might be okay. I think I like the olive the best, though. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, so you get the idea. So, the, like I said, the, the, uh, the free version only comes with the blue, and the pro comes with several of these. For, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or so, nine or ten. Okay, then you have uh, your social logos. Uh, this is another thing that's really important if you're a local business. So basically what you're going to do is put in your um, uh, your Twitter URL, your Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Pinterest. And that's going to populate all those up here, up top, once you put those in here. So you're going to be connected, which is going to improve your overall web presence, which I go through in my website's Made Easy uh, membership site. So if you're looking to really connect everything online, improve your web presence, ultimately that's what that website's all about, that membership site. Okay, so footer settings, you can put in some footer text here, which is going to be like, some t sometimes people put stuff down here in the bottom, in this area right here, um, like additional locations, like for their county or their specific cities, things like that. That's good for SEO purposes. And SEO options. Meta keywords, we went through this. The meta keywords are going to be those descriptions that are going to be in the middle of your page. In the, here, I'll show you. But we went, you really don't need to be concerned with this, but I'll just show you. It's um, that all in one SEO pack. And, and as a matter of fact, I would just not even worry about this because just go with the all in one SEO pack um, because this isn't going to address every page like we've gone through. It's just going to do the overall site. 
for the home page. So we want to cover every single page. So just stick with the um, all-in-one SEO pack. And it looks like that's uh, that's it for that. So um, pretty cool. So if you're interested in um, upgrading to this pro version, there's a link in the description area that'll take you to that page to where you can see what you get with the pro version. But as far as I'm concerned, if, if you're serious about your local business and you really are, are looking to stimulate leads and, and, and get some pretty good traction online, it's it, it's imperative to have a, a, a contact us form up top, which is a lead capture form this. And this is above the fold, which is fantastic. And what that means is, is that when someone comes to a home page of a website, anything that you see before, you have to start scrolling down. So once I start scrolling down, that's below the fold, okay? So when someone comes to this website and they say, oh wow, Serenascape, maybe they've done a little quick, uh, uh, they, they've read the, the meta description on the search results when they typed in landscape design Newport Beach, and they've clicked through and they're like, okay, and they see some attractive pictures here, a nice website, and they're like, you know what, I, I can't, don't want to give these guys a call right now, let me just give them you know, my, my name, um, email address, and ask them for like a free quote or something like that. Boom, there it is. And you, you just never know. I mean, some people are not comfortable speaking on the phone, and maybe their preferred method of contact is by email. So the more that, uh, the more information you have to be able to connect with people, um, the better. So I highly recommend this. This in and of itself would be uh, the decision right here for me to change um, over to the. Uh, the pro version. So, all right. Uh, well, that's that. Thanks. With your new website set up the way I've explained and unique fresh content being posted to the site, you'll start to see new listings for your website and improve visibility in just 14 to 30 days. This is something you can do. I've shown you there's no need to have a fear of technology, a fear of cost, or a fear of time commitments required to benefit from the internet. Now it's about taking action. Top rankings, more exposure, more business. Now we've just scratched the surface here. There's lots of simple things we can do to get your more leads and business and grow cash flow from the internet. Do me a favor, leave a comment below and tell me what you thought of this video.